Greetings, my brothers and my sisters. I'm going to be brief. I'm going to be really brief, but I want to talk to uh, those of you that are, you've been discouraged. You're discouraged. You're discouraged about life. You're discouraged about uh, your dream. It feels like your dream hadn't happened. It feels like what was promised to you hadn't taken place yet, and it's been a while. It's like you've been going around the circle over and over again, and you're tired of going around the circle. You've cried out. You've cried in your spirit. You've cried out asking God when. When will change come? And it seems like the change hasn't come yet. See, but in places and in, in situations like that, when it hadn't come yet, that just means that God is God is setting it up. God is setting it up. And you had the breaking. You had that breaking. The place where you want to break, the place where you want to give up. That's the actual place where your blessing is about to break through. Hear me. Hear me. It's like hitting on a wall and it seems like the wall is not falling. But the thing that you don't understand and see that inwardly, inside, the wall is cracking. The foundation is cracking. And see, the answer and what you're believing for is cracking. It's about to happen. It's about to take place. But what you need to do is you need to learn how to stand where you are. Because if you move, you're going to miss it. And so at the place where you are right now. And see, because you're at a place where you're discouraged and you've been looking for your old comfort zones, those people that want to encourage you, those voices that help you. But it seems like God has removed all of that. And it seems like you're by yourself. Just like what Job said. Job said, I look to the right now. I, I, I can't find you. I seem, seem to work on your left, but it does not seem to work. But he knows the way that I take. And after he's tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. This is the position that you should have. Trust God and stand right there and see God's salvation. And the thing about you need to understand and need to realize and understand, encourage yourself. Don't worry about who don't encourage you, who don't encourage you. But learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. Check this out, David. David was in a situation where uh, he was went out to battle, him and his boys. But while he went out to battle, the adversary came in and took everything. They didn't take nothing, they didn't kill nothing, but they took it. And when they got back, they were destroyed. They were upset. And many even talked about stoning David because of David was the leader. He was the king. He was the one that was leading the army. But David took it to God. And you know what he did? He encouraged himself in the Lord. See, this is what you need to do. You need to learn how to not look to the right, look to the left. Don't look to mama. Don't look to those comfort zones because God has removed those comfort zones. See, now God wants you to encourage yourself in the Lord. See, God wants you to mature. God wants you to grow up. The birthing place, the painful place that you are right now, what God is trying to birth out of you before he give you that answer, before he calls you to go to that next elevation, He call, it, it, before he grants you that petition, there's a maturity that must come out. That's what God is waiting on, that maturity. And one of the signs of that maturity is not to look without, but look within. And by looking within, you're going to encourage yourself in God. See, because everything that you need, everything that you pray for, Everything that God has for you is in you already. It's already in you. Moses. Moses was looking at God at the Red Sea. God, what we're going to do? And God looked at Moses and looked what's in your hand. And God told Moses to stretch out his hand. And the moment that he stretched out his hand, his Red Sea opened up. And see, God, God, that's what God is saying to you. You are asking and you're begging, you're asking for God to, God win? God is saying what's in your hand. Encourage yourself. God said, I've given you everything that you need to make it. I put in you everything that you need to come forth. So in the end, remember this. Remember this. If you don't remember nothing else, encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't depend on a woman. Don't depend on a man. Don't depend on a human being. And depend on God. Depend on what God has deposited in you. See, because God will not waste his anointing. What God put in you is going to speak. It's going to speak and not lie. And so tap into that authority. Tap into that anointing. Tap into that strength. Because God says, when you're weak, I'm strong. I'm perfecting you when you're weak. I'm perfecting what's in you. When things are going on in your life and, and it feels like you can't control it, that's the exact place that I want you to be. That's what God said. But because I want you to depend and totally depend on me. What I put in you. I put victory in you. I put the answer in you. I put authority in you. And so I tell you, at the place where you feel like you're in the jaws of defeat, encourage yourself in the Lord and live. Not die, you will not die, but you want to live. Arise. God bless you.